welcome that now we are moving to the third fourth problem that is on taper bar so till now we have discussed uniform bar then stepped bar now this is taper bar so what is taper bar taper bar in the sense <coughs> one side it will be difference cross section that means different area uh, so usually the larger area one side another one it is smaller area this is known as tapering section so now <coughs> with respect to that now we are going to solve one problem on this axis so the problem is solve for the displacement and stress for the given shown in figure using two finite elements and take things as 200 gp they are already saying that two we have to, we have to divide into two elements for that x minus is given and these are dimensions now in the table section before going to proceed to the problem so now one step what we need to do is we need to convert this taper bar into equivalent stepped bar because in the ANSYS we are not able to do like uh, like one that means we are going to convert into one d bar element one d bar element we cannot give to different uh, area at one or one element so therefore now we are going to divide into equivalent uh, stepped bar so for that so we are going to take at the mid section now uh, total height is 2 meter and the larger width, width is this one is 0.3 meter and this width is 0.1 meter and thickness is this is a side view 0 0.05 meter so this is everything it is meter let me do it in meter only and also it is here we applied 200 kilo newton axial tensile load along y direction and also it is subjected to here uniform load of 25 kilo newton per meter <coughs> okay so now we will take to the middle section so therefore total height is 2 meter is there that therefore it is become 1 meter now so at the center it is 1 meter so now with respect to this is also larger section 0.31 meter and here it is that is at the uh, with respect to the uh, 1 meter we need to find the what is the average width so for that we are going to take in 0.3 plus this is this one 0 0.3 plus and what is the we find it at the middle uh, width that is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2 that is become 0 0.2 meter that means at this for the height of 1 meter at the middle section this average width is become 0 0.2 meter now here also like a conical section only here 0.3 meter here 0.2 meter but we need a stepped bar it is a uniform section therefore we are going to find again with respect to 0.3 and 0.2 uniform width is average uniform width is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 divided by 2 that is 0 0.25 meter and that section 1 is height is 1 meter now below that now what is a uh, at the middle it is a width is 0 0.2 and here 0 0.1 therefore what is the average uniform width become 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 divided by 2 that will give 0 0.15 meter and this section 2 also it is what is the height 1 meter so now this uniform taper bar we are converted into uniform the stepped bar now we need to analyze the problem according to this figure so not with respect to this now as per this we have a two section now one end is fixed that is at the top side and other end is free and it is two equal two different section is there now one more thing is here we need to do it before going to execute the problem in the hands is we, we don't have area directly they given like previous problem we need to find the area how to find the area so that is this one 
um, like area okay area we need to find means so area like a cross section what is the cross section of this so you know the cross section let me take the separate figure the cross section is when you're looking from the top it look like a rectangle and this width this what is the width of this first section will 0.25 how we got we calculated here and what is the height of this or thickness so this thickness is 0 0.05 so where is the given so in the problem it's the given 0 0.05 therefore what is the it look like rectangle what is the rectangle area become a1 0.25 into 0.05 that is 0.0125 meters square similarly the top bottom section it is also like rectangle and this width is what is the width we find at end that is 0.15 into and the thickness is same the way to become 0.15 into 0.05 that is 0 0.075 meters square now this is very important a1 we got a2 we got so we calculated manually they are not given directly this is the things we have to do it first so let me proceed to the uh, in ANSYS begin with this problem so as usual structural and preprocessor element type add and how many element we need to add two we got two section right apply then ok and how many real content two so add one select let me select the type one link one and first area even how much we calculated here so just now we calculated here 0 0.0125 right 0 point sorry 0 0.0 if everything we are taking meter 0 0.0125 meter square press ok now let me take the second for link to we are giving second real concentrate here it is 0 0.0075 meter square then press ok again it is also made up of same material therefore we are giving one material models as usual structure of linear and velocity and what is the e value in the given in the problem so in the problem they given uh, 200 gp so now we are everything meter we are doing therefore in order to convert it to a pascal giga means 10 raised to 9 therefore 200 into e power 9 pascal 1 pascal is nothing but 1 liter per meter square so all these unit conversion is very important if you make any mistake then the results will not get the same now we done so let me go to the next model so now very important so here how many elements we are going to create two elements so therefore three nodes node one node two node three so now we are it is the bar portion is now till now we are having a horizontal portion but is what if therefore we need to be a y coordinate so let me give suppose here we are giving this is 0 comma 0 comma 0 0 and what is the this become at section at a point uh, node 2 so here node 2 become 1 meter therefore 0 comma 1 comma 0 keep this in mind now our third node 0 comma 2 comma 1 plus 1 2 comma 0 that is the thing we say at a next therefore proceed to the modeling create nodes in active CS so one section two now we have to give the second box that is y coordinate right one apply and third that is two meet so we got like this see or one or two or three okay now so let me join the elements after number two nodes 
into two plus and one more very important thing is element attributes so element attribute default everything is one 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 therefore we have now for element section two we need to select here link to the material is one for real color is that two so now Um, we need to give this and uh, that is uh, yeah. one thing is okay so uh, this one right according to the problem right so according to the problem this is we need to give 0 0.0125 and uh, this is 0 0.0 something correct so therefore so let me erase delete this where is the delete option okay so go to delete and uh, notes so not notes elements this one and this one okay only one we remember now I'm going to give this right actually uh, the thing is the below we have to uh, this coordinate system attached comes you have to give minus actually we given everything is minus plus one and two that's why you drawn upward if you want downward we have to give minus one and minus two no problem now we are going to create modeling create through notes element attributes let me let let me select to the one and let me select to this one press ok through notes so i'm going to select three two apply next i'm going to select element attributes two two that is small area so therefore now i'm giving through notes as two two three now press okay so now we draw on this so um, modeling is over now we need to apply boundary condition so that is very important let me discuss that so according to the given problem top side is fixed therefore node one here at this node it is fixed in all direction that is account to problem which is node three node one is here node two is here and node three is here but now load condition is very important see this here in the problem there are two load condition is given and this is one load tensile load axial 200 kilo turn by direction but one more load is given that is w cardi by kilo newton per new meter and this load is known as distributed load that means every meter the 25 kilo is acting now we need to convert this distributed load into a, a axial load so therefore that we need to do some calculation manual that means not to convert this distributed load into uh, like this axial load that is w l by 2 we need to do where w is distributed at this 12.5 kN into suppose we are going to take up for the element 1 right so that is when uh, each element is l right 1 meter 1 divided by 2 that is 12.5 kilo so therefore now you can observe here so here but no, this no top node that is no, no, no and this node it is w1 here w2 and here w3 therefore here w1 it is 12.5 kilo because it, it is acting everywhere 12.5 only up to down so on the each node therefore w1 is 12.5 Whereas at this point 12.5 kilo turn only. Whereas here that is very important. 12.5 plus 200. What is 200? In the problem already one more load is acting at this point. That is node number 1. That is 200 kilo turn. Already axially it is there. And what plus distributed load that is 12.5. That is to become 212.5 kilo newton. So everything either you can take in newton or kilo turn is left to us okay so now this is a boundary condition we need to apply very very carefully without doing any mistakes
<coughs> let me go to that ANSYS now see to the ANSYS so let me minimize this pre-process go to solution define loads apply structural on nodes sorry on nodes so let me select the third node we need to fix in right we need to fix in one direction so press ok also now we need to apply force now that is required on nodes so let me take to the w1 here that is 12.5 kiloton so i think uh, they are applied everything newton here okay let me validate through that more only so y direction it is downward only see if it is we need to apply downward therefore minus 12.5 e power 3 right press apply also w2 what is w2 we want 12 point only so same thing apply 12 point only what you see and as well as the third node it is not 12 point 5 it is w3 w3 is 212 point 5 minus 2 Sorry, point five e power three. Right now, press OK. Now we apply the body condition. That means pre process is completed. So let me solve this now. So go to solution, solve, then current LS, press OK. Solution is done. Let's go. So go to list results. First, let's go to the reaction solution already. So where is the reaction produced? At node number three. Where is fixed here? Yeah. So that is on y direction, right? So let me validate the results. Okay. Here, okay. Reaction solution is not there. Okay, no problem. Let me vary it with the stress and the so now this is on y direction. Now let me create the first element table, define table, and as usual, by using number values, comma one press OK. Close it. Now we need to go for list results. No resolution D of on Y direction press OK or test one. So now we can check displacement 0 0.096 at node 2. How much we got now? 0 0.09. So minus 0 0.9 into 10 raised to minus 4. That is 3 raised unit. This is in mm, but we are done in meter. No problem. Now, and also at node 1, node 1 means at the here is bottom 1, that is 0 0.2316. So, mm -hmm. correct, that is in meter. Let me validate the stress now. Go to element data, press LSM, ok. Now, at element 2, it is 0 0.18 into e power 8 newton per meter square. And according to here, the software result is 0 0.0. Sorry, here at uh, element 1, it is 19 megapascal. Okay, so how much we got? It is almost 18. So 0 0.18 into e power 8 newton per meter square is this. Okay. So newton per meter square that is. Um, uh, it is equal to 18 meter per mm square that is mega plus next is to 28.4 going to here it is 28.33 so that means our result is valid 
so what we done is everything in meter so there it is mm is it is my okay now let me see the graphical result also stress data everything contour data element table press ok have the graphical representation so everything is plus that means it is tensile because the upload is pulling right therefore so i hope you understood this by this we completed the deeper problem thank you